After spending the day with Rob Dom's RX-7, no Lamborghinis have been totaled. Now, I actually really like this car, but here are some of the things I hate about Rob's RX-7. First off, a common problem with the RX-7 is that the solder joints in the tachometer go out. So that means I have no idea what RPM the engine is right now. You have to purely rely on your ear, which is definitely an issue if you are deaf, which is a possibility because this car is so loud with a four inch exhaust all the way through. And when it two steps, this blows your eardrums out. <laughs> simplify his life, that's Rob's quote, he decided to cut the transmission wires, which now you have no speedo. You know, speedos are good reminders of how fast you're going. So if you get pulled over and the cop asks how fast are you going, you can say you have no freaking idea because Rob doesn't want to know. This car has a laundry list of problems, some of which make the car better, the others don't. For instance, this car was driven hard at the drag strip and fifth gear completely sheared off. Now you're still able to get a good ET, but fifth gear no longer works at all. The car is extremely hard to drive. This is the most difficult car I've ever driven. Here's why. So first off, it has no power steering, so the steering is incredibly tight. It also has ET Street drag radials on the back, which cause the car to track back and forth all over the road like the alignment is completely screwed up. Now, apparently with more normal tires, the car tracks perfectly straight. This vehicle is also extremely hard to get into any gear, more so than the infamous Ford GT, putting this car in reverse, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, well, fifth doesn't work anymore, is a difficult process. Now, this car has a 20B three-rotor engine from a Mazda Cosmo, but it's got an S480 BorgWarner turbo on it. Now, the car makes 750 wheel horsepower at 25 PSI, but the turbo lag is unbelievable. You floor it, and the boost doesn't kick in until 5,000 RPMs, so nothing is happening at all. And then the boost kicks in. So definitely something you have to get used to. It's definitely fun when the boost kicks in, but that flag is unbelievable. The last downside of the RX-7 is that Rob Dom's YouTube channel has more subscribers than me. Wait, that's, that's not related to the RX-7. Uh, well, his Lamborghini is also cooler than mine. Nope, that's not related to the RX-7 either. Well, that's about it. This car is pretty awesome. It's got, it's quirks and stuff. It's hard to drive. It stalls when you're going at 40 miles an hour in third gear. Sometimes the car just decides to shut off, but it does make it a hell of an interesting experience driving it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. Give a subscription to Rob Dom. I don't care that he has more than me. Subscribe to his channel. It's awesome. He's got some cool content coming out really trying to step his game up. Look forward to seeing you next video.